tell you, when I looked in the mirror, girl, I scared myself. I was flying. <laughs> girl, I know you're on your phone. Ooh. Threw that out the window. <laughs> We're alcoholics. Pick up, answer, then spiraling. Good morning, vlog. Happy Friday, it's Friday, and I'm currently walking to Duncan. I'm gonna get myself a little iced coffee. If you didn't know, um, and you order on the app, Iced coffee is like two dollars this entire month, so love that for me. Even though I'm technically doing a no spend month, um, I'm like not counting coffee. You know, like I just gotta like treat myself. And I was doing a little bit of retail therapy yesterday. There's some jeans that I really want from Wrangler. Some more cargo pants. You know, you know. Going there now. Gonna have a whole work day ahead of us. Um, I might see my friends later. I don't know. It's very TBD. I have a doctor's appointment, and we're just gonna have a lovely, fabulous Friday and do a little weekend in my life vlog, but I'm trying to break the seal, you know, rip off the band-aid of vlogging when I'm outside and like not being nervous to do that. So we're doing that today. And like, there's this car and it's fucking eating. I only got it black because I've been making, as you all know, been making my own syrups and I did pistachio. Does it really have much of a flavor? I think it's because the pistachios I used were old and they were already like roasted and salted. It's like I should have got raw ones. Like the hazelnut one had flavor because they were raw hazelnuts. You get what I'm saying? Like I feel like the pistachio flavor was kind of like harder to extract. Any hoodly do. But I was gonna talk about my standing desk. Not that a single person asked, but I have this standing desk. I really like a standing desk. I just don't know if I would get this one again. It's from Amazon and I was just like doing that thing of like, I don't want to buy something like the most expensive one, like let me get something like on the lower end or in the middle and like I kind of regret that. Just because it's pretty wobbly, like let me show you, or it just like moves so easily. Like do you see how it's moving? Like you can see that. I don't know if it's maybe the way that I built it, you know, I'm no Bob the Builder, but I don't know. And it's a crank one, which is so funny because for those who know that my first, not my, my second car that I bought brand new 2016 at the time and it had Apple CarPlay, it was brand new car right off the lot, but it had crank windows and like, honestly, RIP to that car, I'm so f salty. My mom sold it, if you're watching mom, I'm never going to give that up. I'm literally never going to give that up. I missed my lime green car. It was like one of my only sources of happiness in this world. No, I'm just kidding. But it was a real sad moment. Like I literally left and she sold it out from under me. But real ones remember that car. That car was so iconic, but it had crank windows. And so I feel like the crank thing just like kind of cracks me up and like nostalgia brings me back. And I don't know, I'm just like, yeah, I don't need like electricity. But if I got another standing desk, I would probably get one that had electricity just cause it's so much easier because I always forget that this goes into standing mode. It's like the last week I've had it in standing mode. Today I want to sit, but I'm going to sit there and let me show you. So like, this is the desk setup that we're working with. It's pretty good. I just did like a revamp to like clean it all up because I used to have a bunch of stuff all over my desk and now I just have my Duncan and my breakfast and some water. Um, and this is the like only window in my house. But anyway, you can see, I, whoa, <laughs> chair falling over. You can see that like I've got it pretty high. You know, like I sit here to do a type, look at my screen, a type again. Um, I don't have my laptop out, but anyway, uh, it's like a pretty good height. I like it, everything about it. I like that it's white, I like the look of it, it's just the wobbly, see there it goes again, you know, it's just like, every time, even when it's at the low, like when it's down, it does that too, and so I just kind of get like, ugh, if we're gonna, ooh, there she goes. <laughs> Little earthquake up in here, and I'm like, oh my god, is everything about to fall off this, like, oops, bam, oh, you can't see me. <laughs> Love this orange mat, obviously, y'all know how I feel, <laughs> y'all know how I feel about the color orange. Um, it's my fave, and I'm just like so excited. Oh, <gasps> oh, it's in here. <laughs> I thought I lost my computer for a second. It's like, oh my god, it's not in my backpack. Drink some water. Um, anywho, so that's my um work from home little setup. If anybody was curious, let's do a thumbnail, shall we? Maybe with the Duncan or. Keyboard. I don't really, I bought this keyboard, but I don't really use it.
come back from the doctor's thing. I was just doing my little, you know, um, making sure that I'm all sexually healthy and I wasn't gonna take the vlog camera with me because I was like, I'm literally in a doctor office. I don't need to be sitting here like recording myself or anyone very, I don't know. That's not the vibe. Um, I made myself lunch, which is like an open face meatball bomber. So just don't have um, like cheese to go on top. So I used my little baby bell cheese on the bottom, but you know, oh well. It is what it is, and I'm having some of this Lentana carrot hummus. It's literally so good. They have a chocolate hummus that is fire, and they have a black bean one that's really good too. Love it, but not at Trader Joe's, so I had to go to an actual grocery store to get it. But I just got back onto my computer. I'm gonna do a couple more things. TBD on my plans tonight. I'm like, my friends wanted to do something. Amelia, I'm calling you out right now because I'm like, okay, you want to do something tonight, and I'm like, What's your vibe? What's your idea? And you are not replying to me. But you're replying in the group chat. Girl, I know you're on your phone. Pick up. Pick up. Answer. Text me back. Do not. What happened? Not the worst thing I've made, I'll tell you that. Boo. <laughs> but did that jump scare you? Because let me tell you, when I looked in the mirror, girl, I scared myself. Oh, yeah. Wow. What's going on? I look like a freak. Um, uh, I literally got so... Kyle, if you're watching this, he wanted to get drunk last night. Let me tell you, I got drunk, okay? I am like, whoa. I feel more... I have more of a hangover, I feel like, than I did from the hottie party. That's messed up. It was only a Friday night. I was literally, like, two steps from my house the whole time. Oh, my God, but I literally feel disgusting. I went out last night with my friend Kyle making a liquid IV because I am, like, you know, I need some hydration. Hydration nation. Um, I don't actually really like the way that they taste. They're, like, fine. Um, but lemon lime is the best flavor. Anywho. This place is called Barrel in D.C. Um, if you live in the... DMV and they do this thing called happy meals where you get like a shot of something and a drink like to sip on like a shot of Jameson and you know like a high noon or a, another shot of something and like a beer and whatever and they've got all these little fun themes and stuff and they give you like a little toy and I got this cute little tiger and I think I left it there I'm like fuck I have to go back A I <laughs> maybe don't do that Blake Oh my god, you guys, all is okay in the world. Focus on my tiger, he's so cute. Don't stop focusing on me, the fuck? Look at him, I love him. He's so cute and he does this little thing. <laughs> Wee, he just doesn't fall. <laughs> Got my ice, oh, let me get a straw so we can do a little. Not the best that I've had. But liquid IV also, it gotta be cold. You gotta put ice in it. Wow, okay. Today, I got some posters from AwesomeCon that I'll show you. If you don't know what AwesomeCon is, it's a comic convention. They're one of my clients for my day job. And I need to, I offered <laughs> to go to all these different like coffee shops and businesses and just see if they have a place that they can put, po you know, like you can hang up posters like community boards and stuff like that. So I need to go run around and do that today. It'll be good because that can be my workout for the day and I can get myself moving and grooving and like, I don't like, it'll just be nice to like walk around and sort of like be fresh air out of my house, etc. than just like murping. Oh, like I literally ordered myself a calzone last night. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, going into my fridge, uh, don't judge me for anything, but I literally ordered a freaking calzone and some chicken tenders. And then I fell asleep waiting for them. And then I wake up and my a, like doorbell is going off and my phone is like going crazy. I think I was only asleep for like 45 seconds or like a minute or something. But you like when you fall asleep, when you're like tipsy or like really tired, you don't realize you fall asleep and it feels like eons have gone by. And so I like woke up and I was like, what the fuck is going on? Who's at my house? And then I saw the DoorDash alert and I was like, oh, did I actually like order something last night? Let me say, if you have a Chase Sapphire preferred card, you better get yourself on DoorDash because you would gotta pay like half the fees when you order with your Chase Sapphire preferred card, okay? And so I was like, okay, like, uh, Chase, if you're gonna give me $8 off, then my meal's basically free. <laughs> so like, I might as well get it. I'm supposed to be doing a no spend month. It's going absolutely terrible. Threw that out the window. <sighs> I'm losing and I'm spiraling.
<laughs> just kidding. I'm actually fine. It's just whatever. Finish chugging this out of my tea swift cup. And then we'll get ready for the day. We'll start dropping off these posters. I feel like beyond cleaning myself up. <laughs> or <clears throat> I just need to clean up too. Like my house isn't like that messy. It just kind of like feels like it is. Kitchen definitely needs some help. I got this stuff in my rounds order and I just like don't know how to properly get rid of it. Um, these are going to go back in my rounds order. That has to all go back in my oven because that's where I keep all my pans and stuff. And then I'm just kind of like I need to clean up my uh, stove top. I need to put these dishes away, put my air fryer away. Just, I need to pick all this up. This uh, suitcase, this is from the podcast shoot, and I just have left it there. But I think I'm gonna play some Megan Thee Stallion. It's like, she's been my vibe recently. Like, I'm just like, like, I'm always obsessed with her. But like, recently, she's just be like, hitting different. Like, I'm mad too, Megan. I'm irritated. I'm annoyed. Like, I'm ready to fight these hoes. Like, people are trying us. Time lasts me putting these clothes away, and we're gonna get into it. Yeah. So I put on this tailgate, uh, like, baseball kind of tee that I have. I feel like it's almost a little too small for me, but if I, like, roll up the sleeves, then it's kind of, like, fine. And then I wore it with my Anna's hat. Now it looks cute. Yay! And I feel better. Woo! <laughs> so I don't know how much of the this journey that I'll vlog, but I feel like I need to because I, like, haven't done anything in this vlog. Like, I farted around my house again, which is I'm trying to get out of that habit. So anyway... But we're ready to go. It's supposed to be like 60 degrees today, so this should be warm enough. Okay, so all I did was walk across the street and I'm already like <laughs> sweating. <sighs> I might have to go home and change. <sighs> it's been a couple hours. I'm so walked out. I need to sit down. I'm not taking my AirPods out. I'm feeling lazy. But I went and got a little um, boba tea. It's so cute and little. That's why it's called Easy Tea E.T. Like E.T. phone home. <laughs> so funny and alien themed. But I'm on my way home now. Got a good list of uh, places that I dropped him off to, so I feel semi-accomplished. And I'm gonna go to a couple of the neighborhoods, and there's another person doing it with me, so, you know, they'll, they'll get out into the world, but that calzone and those chicken tenders, girl, they're calling my name. You know, I really think that I'm, like, always out here doing these hot girl walks, and this 12, 3, 30, and, like, I'm unstoppable. But dang, I think also part of it is just, like, being a little hungover, obviously. Honestly, thank God I ordered that calzone last night. Like, did I need it last night? No, I was literally, like, out of my mind. I was flying. Like, I was texting Kyle this morning, and we were both like, okay, we did not realize how drunk we were, like, until we got home. Like, we had two tequila shots, a tequila shot. We split two tequila margs, or pitchers. Tequila margs. Split two pitchers. We had a shot of tequila. Then we went to the next door. I had two beers and two Jameson shots, and he had two high noons and two Jameson shots. Like, ew, we're alcoholics. Like, oh my god, I hate that. We had the calzone. I'm, like, ready to dive in. I don't know, I'm gonna turn the camera off now. I'm, like, <laughs> my motivation is leaving my body. So, y'all, the next day, I just tried to make this this instant ice, or this instant coffee. And when I bought it, I thought that it was, I wanted to get instant espresso because I wanted to like start making lattes at home just to like switch up the coffee vibe at my house. So I felt like I wasn't having to like go buy coffee. <sighs> and I like was sitting there, you know, debating at the store, like reading all these things or anything. So I picked this one, obviously, because it was like cheap. <laughs> Up. And then I literally just got home and put it together that it's instant coffee, not espresso, which I guess it's kind of like the same thing. Like if I just, I put more of that and like less water and so, I mean it basically tastes like an iced latte, so I'm just going to tell myself that it is. Because I basically just did equal parts that with milk. It's like Americano, or uh, <laughs> a macchiato. Anyway, made my breakfast. I love no food. 
<laughs> but last night I literally rotted and just watched uh, a bunch of Real Housewives like random uh, montages and be best you know ten fights or top fights from you know Real Housewives of Atlanta or Bethany Frankel reading everyone for filth for ten minutes. All these stupid like clips and montages. I don't know. I was, and then I watched the. Raquel Levitt, Rachel, and um, Bethany podcast episode. It was actually very interesting. If you are in Scandival um, at all, I would recommend listening to it. At first, I was kind of like, ew, Bethany, like, why would you talk to her? But then, after speaking to it, Bethany's like, listen, girl, I'm not here to say that, like, you are going off scot-free. Like, I just want to give you an option to, like, say what you want to say on some type of platform that's not your own because it feels like Ariana's been given, you know, all these opportunities, which, whatever, that's fine, that's fair. But it was like, okay, girl, like, share your piece. Like, what do you have to say for yourself? And it was just very interesting. She did a lot of, like, other sides of the story. There's always two sides of the story. And she was kind of in her same, like, weird emotional stance, which I kind of get it that, like, you can't break down every single time you talk about it. Um, but she definitely was, like, you could tell she was very anxious. She was very paranoid. She was, like, worried about what to say because I think she still felt like... And they just talked about, I don't know, like, the Bravo of it all and, like, the reality TV and, like, Bethany has her own fights against reality TV. And I think it was just interesting to hear, like, what Raquel had to say. And after listening to it, I'm like, okay, I can see how some of it, I think, was set up on the show. Like, producers, I think, were in the know or they had more of an inkling towards something. And so they were pushing for it to happen. And she sort of talks about, like, Lisa Vanderpump's role in it. And then after watching all of these recaps of Housewives, I've seen that, like, Lisa Vanderpump is known to be very, like, calculated and particular. And, you know, she sort of, like, pushed for this fight to happen on The Real Housewives that kick-started the start of Vanderpump Rules with Sheena. And then how Raquel was, like, speaking about how every time, when the one time that she reached out to Lisa, it was just about coming back on the show. And like making good TV basically and I was like Ooh. and apparently it was gonna be canceled after season 10 but then all of this happened so now it's like gonna keep going but it was gonna not continue anymore I don't know a lot of tea a lot of drama but I think it was just interesting to hear the other side of the story like I said but anyway it's like noon on Sunday I slept until 10 did not realize that and I just made this and I'm gonna eat it and then yeah I think I'm gonna take myself to the grocery store. I'm gonna go on some sort of walk, maybe. Although I walked friggin' everywhere yesterday. Um, I just don't know if I want to actually, like, work out, work out. You know? So, we'll see where the day takes us. 